Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jay. God bless everyone and welcome back to my channel where you will see content about nursing mainly, education, lifestyle, how-to videos, and much more. So if you like that, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe down below, and hit that bell notification as well. And what will we talk about today, guys? So let me take a moment to show you guys my hair. Woo! Your girl got a new haircut. As you see, we have a little bit of soft layering going on. I did it myself and I'm so proud of myself. If you guys like this hairstyle, comment down below on how I cut my hair and how I style it. Basically, very, very simple, just with some shears. I do the unicorn haircut and this is for long layers. And that's it guys, so let's go back to the all right guys, so today we're going to be talking about the topic stress. During this topic, I wanna to mainly focus on how to reduce stress, but then I wanna talk about the five W's, who, what, where, when, and why. All right, I will also address five important ways to reduce stress. And then we're gonna talk about some other things. So, what is stress? So, I have a couple notes down here, so don't mind me if I'm looking down and up because I'm just reading my notes. So, stress is a feeling, a feeling of emotion or physical tension. It can come from any event or thought that makes you feel frustrated, angry, or even nervous. So, how can we reduce stress? There are five tips, or five, I don't know what you want to call it, five ways that you can reduce stress. Of course, there's much more out there, but these were five personal ways that have helped me a lot. Okay. So I'm gonna address them all and then I'm gonna break them down for you guys. So one, address the problem. Two, find a solution for the problem. Three, eat healthy meals. Four, exercise. Five, vitamins. There is a couple more I wrote down but for me, these were the five most important. Before I break the five most important down, I'm gonna just tell you guys three more. Six, six, take a break. Seven, take time for your hobbies. And eight, deep breathing. Okay, so let's break down the five most important. Okay, so first I started off with Writing down number one, address the problem. So, some people may say, how Jay, how will I address the problem if I have so many different things that I'm stressed about? It's work, it's my children, it's my husband, it's my dog, it's so forth. And then I might say to you, what is the main trigger at this moment that is causing you to feel this certain way and then after you address that specific trigger or problem then you'll be able to sit down and think about a solution so if I give you guys an example that my stress at this moment could be studying for the NCLEX and then I sit down and say, okay, this is really stressing me out, really changing my mood, making me miserable, making me angry all the time and frustrated. Then I sit down and say, what am I going to do to relieve this? And a few options could be sitting down every day in the morning, 
after I have my cup of tea or coffee, after I brush my teeth and change my clothes and getting ready at my desk to take an hour or two before my son wakes up to study for the NCLEX. Then that would help me to alleviate that stress and bring it down a couple notches so I can live a healthy. So number three, eating a healthy meal. So how can we do this? Healthy stuff are so expensive. It's easier to just buy a burger, a McDouble, a McChicken, only cost a buck or two. That's true guys, but if you sit down and just think about what you're eating and if you sit down in your car while you're eating those fries and just set a timer after you eat it and just see how you feel. You're going to feel sluggish. You're going to feel very like tired and not really like energetic compared to eating an apple, eating nutritious, rich food you're gonna notice a difference. And then you're gonna start noticing that maybe you shouldn't have ate that. You should have started eating healthier foods. So when I talk about eating healthy meals, we have to remember that our foods have to be rich in nutrients. So what are nutrients? So basically there are a couple nutrients that I will name like protein, carbs, fats, vitamins, and water. And then there's also minerals. So you want to have um, foods or meals that are rich in these nutrients because this is how we're going to live a healthy lifestyle. Our body is going to be fueled with rich, nutritious nutrients and we're going to be able to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Of course, we know that grocery shopping for healthy foods are expensive and I'm not asking you guys to buy like organic stuff, like, but just be conscious when you're out there and you're buying food instead of spending so much money on fast food, just try to spend those 10 bucks going to the grocery store and getting like a bag of apples, a bag of bananas, um, just different food choices with because we need a little bit of everything in our meals in order to live a healthy lifestyle. So number four, exercise. Exercising is very important because when you exercise, you're getting rid of those toxins in your body. You're getting rid of all that stress built up. You are basically using exercise as a coping mechanism so you can de-stress at least on a personal level this has helped me a lot when i'm feeling super stressed like i just like to go out for a walk i like to go out for a jog with my son and just like forget about everybody else everything else and just focus on myself like a treat to me and just know that this will make me feel better me just simmer down a little bit and alleviate all that stress and exercising is very good for your your health your lifestyle at least 30 minutes a day of walking or any type of exercising will be super super good for your cardiovascular health which is your heart and your body and your mental health so the last one number five was vitamins so vitamins i personally believe are very important um, because I feel like vitamins have a little bit of everything, especially when you do the complete multivitamins. I can't recommend one for you guys because I do the gummy ones that are like complete multivitamins for adults, gummies, and I got those at Costco. It was just a big jar and I would just take one or two a day, whatever the serving size was and, and stuff like that. But I believe that vitamins, um, you will get them from your your food sources or your meals but if you're not eating a healthy diet then you need supplements and the only way to supplement that is by taking multivitamins over the counter and so that is what i've been doing guys a few important vitamins that i got were very important like i said are the complete multivitamins usually in a form of a capsule or a form of a tablet mostly tablet um and also the gummies but those are important 
and then also a vitamin D3 with calcium or without calcium is important. Um, I currently reside in Washington State where during this season there is a lack of sunshine and we know that sun gives us vitamin D3. And vitamin D3 is good for our mental health, for our bones primarily, and it aids with um, absorption of calcium and stuff like that, and potassium. So if we don't have that, our bones become kind of frail and very sensitive and we start lacking our vitamin D3 because we're not getting enough sun. And if you're not going outside, maybe because of the coronavirus right now to exercise or just to sit out in your patio or in your porch, whatever you have outside, um, you're lacking this vitamin. So that being said, I feel like you should also um, take into consideration that purchasing a vitamin D3 over the counter is also beneficial to you. I literally go to Winko and in Winko I purchased this one called vitamin D3 and it has a calcium also 600 and basically this is good for bone health and I think it was only like five bucks um, I don't go above and beyond to purchase really expensive ones I just like to read my ingredients and like to read what is in this stuff and if I feel that the ingredients aren't as accurate of what I am getting. I don't want to drink extra crap and put it in my body. <laughs> so that being said, guys, I purchased this and literally after the second day, I noticed that I, I was thinking more clearer. I wasn't feeling as fatigued and, and just like before that I was feeling very tired. I just want to say, Home all the time and I didn't want to go outside after um, I took this I felt much better my mind fog was gone my bones weren't really aching as much which was weird and I had more energy like now I've been going back out on walks I'm like talking a little more clearer I'm not forgetting stuff and just stuff like that so um, yeah okay So yeah guys, so I've been doing that and also I purchased this here. It's like a little bag of, um, it's in Spanish, but basically it's like flaxseed and this is rich in omega three, six, and nine. Um, it's, it's good to help reduce the fat in your abdomen area mainly. And basically this is high in fiber. Um, we know that Omega-3 is good for many things, but primarily it aids in your digestion and stuff like that. Um, I was just lacking a lot of my vitamins and stuff like that because I wasn't eating a lot of nutritious food. So I was just very constipated and a whole bunch of other stuff, just feeling tired and not really feeling like myself. So I want to encourage everybody to please take vitamins and some vitamins that I will mention right now are important for your mental health like or your brain health as well folate amino acids minerals plant-based antioxidants and it's been more than two weeks please seek help I am by no means a healthcare professional as in a doctor counselor or anything like that i'm just telling you guys what has helped me and hopefully this will help you guys as well um i want to continue expressing that these five tips were the five tips that has helped me to reduce stress if you would like to continue and listen to the other tips then continue watching this video but if not you can click that stop button and just give me a like thumbs up and peace out all right so number six is break taking a break guys this is so important when you feel stressed out when you feel like you just can't alleviate that stress 
with those coping mechanisms or anything like that just take a break sit down in a dark room or in a lighted room and make sure it's quiet just sit down or lay down whatever helps you and just close your eyes and meditate and just hopefully that will help you enough to be able to just reduce your stress a little bit and bring your mindset back to where it has to be but breaks are really really important because i feel like when you're stressed you're not going to accomplish anything like when i'm stressed out i do not learn anything i do not accomplish anything and i just can't get anything done like i know i have to do 20 million things but i can't get it done okay number seven number seven is taking time for hobbies and when I say hobbies, this is stuff that you like, you enjoy, you have fun. And areas or places that make me feel at peace. That I can just like lay down and soak up the sun and just like feel at peace and not have to worry about anything. You know, worry-free places. And another hobby that I like to do is reading. Um, I like taking pictures. Um, stuff like that, just stuff that you enjoy, doing my nails, um, getting massages and just stuff like that. And even if you can't get out to those places because of the pandemic or because of economical reasons, you can do this at home guys. You can literally do your nails at home, take like 5-10 minutes, ask your husband or your significant other to take care of your children or any responsibilities and go to your room close the door put some beautiful music on and then just do your nails or do a face mask in the bathroom take an extra hour in the bathroom and then just like give yourself a spa treatment in the bathroom number eight would be deep breathing i've noticed that if i'm stressed out or if i'm like at that point that i'm like frustrated because i'm not understanding a topic or frustrated careful baby <laughs> frustrated that just frustrated in general guys um i will i will literally sit down and like close my eyes and like breathe Wusa. i like to say Wusa. deep breathing so take a deep breath in take a deep breath out take a deep breath in and out and this deep breathing will help you de-stress and bring it down and that wraps it up guys i hope this video was helpful this video guys was helpful for anybody watching for all those mommies out there for all those workers out there for all those healthcare workers for all those people who are just stressed out and just need some words of encouragement that we have all been there and don't neglect your mental health because it can work against you or work in favor of you but that being said guys don't forget to like share subscribe hit that bell notification and peace out god bless